Glad to have you back for another Ice Buddy discussion. Today we are going to address an emergency all too frequently faced by men, women, and children. I'm talking about domestic violence. The National Domestic Hotline reports that on average, 24 people per minute are victims of rape, physical violence, or stalking by an intimate partner in the United States. That's more than 12 million women and men over the course of a year. Emergency preparedness is not only about how to escape from and survive the dangers of a tornado, fire, earthquake, or hurricane. Emergency preparedness also includes escaping from and surviving an abusive relationship. This is a subject I know all too well, as I have been the victim of domestic violence on more than one occasion. It can happen to anyone. It is not your fault any more than a devastating natural disaster hitting your home is your fault. But it is your responsibility to be knowledgeable about how to be prepared should it occur. Unfortunately, this is not a discussion most parents have with their children. It certainly isn't taught in schools, and you don't hear about it on TV until it is too late and someone has failed to escape on time. When I created the Ice Buddy system, it was intended to save lives. That means your life and that of your children whenever and for whatever reason you are in danger and need to evacuate. So let me ask you this. Are you ready to split? Then let me explain how to pack using your ice buddy system. First, don't pack in a suitcase. It is too obvious and neighbors often tell on you if you are seen leaving your house with a suitcase. The ice buddy system has ample space for you to pack your immediate needs. Start collecting all the information you need and begin putting it in your ice buddy. Remember, if questioned, you can explain you are making sure the family has its go bag ready in case there is a bad storm and you have to evacuate. Provide examples of an area that recently had to evacuate to show that you're listening to the news regarding storms. Okay, ready for what to put together? Here it is. First, identification for yourself and your children. This means birth certificates, social security cards, driver's license, photo identification or passport, welfare identification, green card. Next, important personal papers or photos on a thumb drive. Marriage certificate, even if you are now separated or divorced. Separation or divorce papers. Custody orders, legal protection or restraining orders, health insurance papers and medical cards, medical records for each of you and immunization records, children's school records, investment papers, account numbers, immigration papers, rental agreement, lease or your house deed, car title, registration, insurance information, records of police reports you may have filed, medical evidence of abuse, lawyer's name and telephone number. This you should program into your phone. Your last tax filing, W-2s or pay stubs. Next, you need funds. So gather up cash, credit cards, ATM card, checkbook with deposit slip, jewelry or small objects objects you can sell to access quick cash. Keys. You need keys for your house, your car, safety deposit box, or post office box. Next, a way to communicate. Have a phone calling card or a prepaid cell phone and your address book. Don't forget your medical needs. You need a one to three month supply of all medicine each of you take in their labeled prescribed bottles. Don't forget eyeglasses, contact lenses, hearing aids, and hand sanitizer. Personal care items are needed such such as toothbrush, toothpaste, comb, brush, deodorant, and personal hygiene products. And then this is stressful times, so you need sanity and coping items, such as a few well-needed pictures, keepsakes, maybe your children's favorite small toy or book, and last but not least, clothing. You need at least a change of clothing for each of you and your face mask. Now, if you have time to plan your exit, here are some strategies to consider. Start slowly taking things to a friend's house, to your church, or even your place of work if you can leave them there. Put cash aside over time. $10 at a time adds up. Connect with an experienced domestic violence advocate to create a safety plan. Go online to domesticshelters.org and enter your zip code to find a domestic shelter and programs near you. Don't hide anything in the purse you usually carry. When you leave, take the decoy purse with you and leave your regular one 
behind. Notify your employer if your situation and building has security that can be used to protect you at work. If you have secured a restraining order, you have the option of having the police to accompany you to your house to enable you to leave safely or to escort the abuser out if that person is no longer allowed to reside there. The primary objective is for you and your children to get away from an abusive relationship. Ice Buddy Systems Inc. is here to make sure you know how to use our product line to get to safety when emergencies arrive. If we can provide additional resources, please contact us at info at icebuddy.net. Remember, when facing a personal emergency, Ice Buddy enables you to keep cool and carry on.